My name is uh, Olga Vera. I am a junior principal investigator of the group of experimental therapies and biomarkers in cancer at the Health Research Institute of EDPATH, which is located at University Hospital La Paz. So the questions I'm trying to answer uh, right now have a focus in, in melanoma. I am interested in studying what's the role of non-genetic alterations in melanoma to find potential biomarkers and therapeutic targets in, uh, of this disease. We have research line focus in lung cancer, which is the main one, also glioblastoma and ovarian cancer. And the common focus of all of those is to identify biomarkers that can help us to predict the disease and the response to treatments to um, help patients. Bly Biosystem has been uh, working us since the very beginning. They have the best system to identify or to validate biomarkers in, in both in liquid biopsy and, and tumors. Uh, for example, uh, when we were trying to identify biomarkers in liquid biopsies, some markers have a very low expression levels so Applied by the System has helped us with a new technology like is the Absolute Q Digital PCR that allow us to have a better sensitivity to detect these low frequency markers. In our lab, what we do is to uh, look for biomarkers that can be detected in blood so we can monitor the disease of a cancer patient. So in the future, we hope that this can be applied to all patients with this disease and that we can improve their lives. So the qPCR technology gives us uh, benefits uh, compared to uh, the digital PCR, for example. When we want to check or test a biomarker that is highly expressed. But the digital PCR is very useful when the uh, frequency of that biomarker is very, very low. So the diagnosis that we do as of right now is on brain tumors, glioblastoma. We detect the methylation of the gene MGMT for the diagnosis of the treatment response in this kind of tumors. So we have a project, it's a still research, it's far from clinic so far, in which we have we are using both qPCR and the digital PCR, the absolute Q, to detect the methylation of MGNT and blood. Again, as of right now, we have very successful results, both with qPCR and the digital PCR, and, and we see that maybe what we are doing in research can be applied to the clinic in the future.